Whoa! All right, this time, I'm gonna destroy you, Rainicorn! Okay, that sounds nice. Oh, I got the sword. Hey, lady, do you wanna go play music together or something? Oh, oh, uh, I, I would, but uh, I'm in the middle of this game. Oh. Hey, Finn, after this next game, you wanna go adventuring with me? Lady and I are going to a party in the Cloud Kingdom tonight. You should go to that with us. <laughs> Jake, stop sighing. You're messing up my game. Jake, what's going on with you? Nothing. Oh, dang it. Man, lady, you're too good at this. Hey, it's time to party with clouds. Jake, you coming? No. Dude. I thought you wanted to spend more time with me and Lady together. I do. Then come on. No, you go ahead, and you have fun with my girlfriend. Uh... <sighs> We're gonna head to the party, but you should meet us there and stop acting weird. <sighs> <sighs> they should be back by now. Hey, man, you got a bunch of... Hello, Cloud Kingdom. Ah. Uh, Yes, hello. Um, I'm looking for Finn the Human and Lady Rainicorn. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, they left a while ago. A while ago? What the? <laughs> yeah, now make that orange. And make that purple. <laughs> wow, lady, hanging out with you is the best. I like you too, Finn. No! My girlfriend in the arms of my best pal. Well, two can play at that game, sweet cheeks. Let's see. Doug, Todd, Jerry, Dennis, Reggie, Peter, George, Larry, Luke, David, Benton, Mike R, Mike H, Mike A, Gareth, Jennings, Mr. International, Mr. Outrageous, Captain Majesty, the Flying Lettuce Brothers, Pete the Punk, <gasps> Tiffany. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish Jake was here having fun with us. Hey, where's that music coming from? Yeah, yeah, louder. <gasps> Jake, what are you doing? Oh, hey guys. I'm just sharing a tender moment with my beautiful friend, Tiffany. Stop! You're making Lady jealous. Well, I'm trying to make you both jealous. Why would I be jealous of Tiffany? Because... Tiffany's a boy! Ha 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 ha! Jake's my best friend now, forever! <gasps> yeah! Home record! Jake, what's going on with you? Oh, I guess I'm jealous of how much you and Finn like each other. I'm hanging out with Finn because you wanted us to get to know each other better. I know. <sighs> Get out of my life, Tiffany, and never come back! Oof! No! Jake will be mine! I'm sorry I'm an idiot, baby. Forgive me? Oh, sweet potato. I love you because you're an idiot. You make me feel like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> you make me feel like I'm hugging an old man. It's time to get rid of this piece of crud. Oh, you get that too, huh? Yeah, way better. Beat it, Tiffany! Go on, get! You'll never defeat me! I will be Jake's best friend! Ah! I'm sorry I was an idiot. You forgive me? Shut up, man. I don't want to hear that stuff. Let me get in there. Ugh. Let's never be stupid again. Wait! Let's always be stupid. Forever! <laughs> <laughs> Finish him off, my semi-loyal pet! <laughs> an innocent bystander? <laughs> Nepsur! No! That's what we wanted to happen. Nepsur is fully functional. Yeah! <laughs> Nepsur! Yeah! Crush him! Crush him like you crushed me! Creator? Nepsur! The pies! Pies! Oh, right. <laughs> Come on! What was in those pies? Just boys and berries. <laughs> and also poison. <laughs> Nepsur is acting different. Quick, Finn! Jump! <laughs> <laughs> you guys got me. Something about that robot I tried to kill fills me with deep longing. 
Thanks, guys. Your blood oath is fulfilled. Yay! To, to the, the missile sphere! Finally, we can die! I'm troubled, creator. Troubled by a sudden urge to collect princesses. Yep, sir. That's a heavy, unsettling thing to say. But pull yourself together. We're about to prank Jake. Uh-huh. Sure. One, two, three! Run, Neptor! Oh! Ha, ha, ha! Ha! Oh, man. I've come to take my son. Your son? Come to Poppy's son. I won't attack you unless provoked. He's not your son. If anything, he's my son. It was my power that activated his full potential. Uh, ooh. When you were struck with my lightning, you also became infused with my private particles. He wants to be with me, Finn! No way! Neptor wants to help me prank Jake! I am torn. I am processing a love for both princesses and pranking. Don't worry, son. I'll show you the life you deserve. No! Neptor! Yes! Now that we've entered my imagination zone, allow me to tantalize you with this. Princesses! As my son, you will carry on the tradition of capturing ladies. Tell me more, Poppy. No, Neptor! I want a son who can do better than I. One who can succeed where I have failed. You can mate with robot princesses. Can I still prank with Finn after? No! I'll show you what will happen if you hang out with Finn. <laughs> yeah! Putin on, on Nectar, Nectar to, to the, the max! max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Finn's pranks. No! I'm through playing around, son. Who do you choose? Come on, Neptor. Choose me, buddy. Choose pranks. I... Uh, I choose... Ice King! What?! You've got to be flipping kidding me! He made his choice. Get over it, crybaby. I'm not finished. I choose Ice King to prank. Hardcore! What?! Ah! My face! <laughs> <laughs> I birthed you, and I can unbirth you! Never! Oh! Sleep well, Poppy. In your imagination zone full of beautiful princesses. You want to prank Jake? It's why I was created. <laughs> okay, let's go! Jake, wake up! Ah, hey, dude. Ah! Sun is going down. Shall we capture princesses now, Poppy? No, let's just stay here a little longer, son. I love you forever, Poppy. I always end up eating all the royal pudding supply whenever I go to the castle. So that's why Princess Bubblegum hates you. Yes, but I didn't turn Princess Bubblegum green and bald. I would never do such a thing. Gah. Of course you wouldn't. You're too nice a guy. I'm the one who threw that bottle. I was going to tell her, but then she started talking all crazy. She said she'd never forgive me, and I, d I didn't know. Hey, it's okay. People make mistakes. It's all part of growing up, and you never really stop growing. Now you're making me feel even worse by being so nice about it. Maybe I should just confess the crime and end all this. Wait, I think I might have an idea that will save everyone's reputation. Halt! Finn! Did you find the Duke yet? Not yet, but you are in grave danger, Princess. There is an assassin in these very woods, dead set on stopping you from reaching the grand meeting. In fact, is that rustling in the bush? Russell, 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 I'm in ambush! Halt! What's going on? Oh, did I come out too early? Ahem. What are you here to do, stranger? I've come for the princess! I'm an assassin! Um, guys... Stand back! I will stop him! Yeah! Yeah! I'll kill you! And raise your children as my own! Yeah! Ha! Uh, remember, it's just acting, Jake! Sorry, dude! <laughs> now to kill you up! But wait! Surely this cannot be the fair Princess Bubblegum! Where are her pink flush cheeks? The long, gooey hair! <laughs> Oof. Clearly, the princess travels elsewhere. Later, Bubblegum! Get out there, man! I don't know if I can do this. Go, 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 go! And that's how I, the Duke of Nuts, by disfiguring you beyond all recognition, 
Humbly saved your life. Yeah, all right! Yeah! What was the point of this little play again? <gasps> and why isn't the Duke clapped in irons? She's right. Innocent or not, I should accept what's coming to me. Peppermint Butler? Oh, no. Nothing's going my way today. <gasps> no! Finn? The Duke didn't throw that bottle. <sighs> Princess, I have something sucky to confess. I'm the one who threw the bottle. <gasps> I'm sorry, but I knew if I told you, you'd hate me forever. Hmm. Well, I could never stay mad at you forever. And you seem genuinely penitent. I don't even know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but that doesn't douse my hatred for the Duke! Yeah, what's up with that hate? That jerk always empties out my pudding pantry! Ah, oh, shucks. He just can't control himself around pudding. He goes cuckoo nuts for it. Because he has a pudding deficiency. It's true, Your Majesty. I'm... I'm sorry for my medical condition. Oh, my, you poor man. Of course you're forgiven. Yeah, I don't believe a word from him. <sighs> I'm really sorry about making you temporarily ugly, Princess. Especially before the grand meeting of Vu Royalty. I wish there was some way to make it up to you. Maybe there is, Finn. Maybe there is. Hey! Hmm, what? You said maybe. Call to order the sesquicentennial grand meeting of Ooh Royalty. I now call upon the delegate from the Candy Kingdom. Princess Bubblegums? Ahem. It would be presumptuous indeed to present myself against the distinguished princess to whom you have listened. <sighs> Buy a lady a drink? The, the Marquis of, of nuts. nuts? Yes! But I didn't come alone! Remember me, Jake? No. <laughs> You and me got together forever, solving crimes and making up rhymes. No way! This proves he's a supervillain! More powerful than lesser villains like the Ice King! Your gut says he's evil! My gut says he's good! Why not put our guts together and end this funky feud? Then it's settled. We're gonna confront Ricardio face to face and prove he's evil. Or good. So what are you doing, Ricardio? Are you evil? Or nice, with an evil face. That's none of your business. The safety of Princess Bubblegum is my business. Yeah, we just want to know if you're evil or not. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes. You stay away from Princess Bubblegum with all that stuff. Now that my plan is nearly complete, there is no way you can stop me. I could stop you if I wanted. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Yeah! <gasps> What's going on here? Princess! Ricardio? Yes, I'm all right, Princess. Finn, oh. why'd you do it? He was gonna hurt you with those ropes and bottles. These were for our Balbaflonic laser? It's not all his fault, Princess. I might have looked a little threatening. Finn, you shouldn't punch Brainiacs. You know how fragile they are. You gotta stop this jealous business. What? Come on, Ricardio. I'll pat you up and give you candy. <sighs> She hates me now. I was totally wrong about Ricardio. No, Finn, you are not wrong. He is evil. <laughs> Ice King, what do you know about this? Tell me or I'll do something. Hold up, Finn. The Ice King looks sort of damaged. I don't care. I only care about Ricardio. But my enervated condition has everything to do with him. I was trying to cast a spell that would give me total control of Princess Bubblegum's heart. But I messed it all up. And lost control of mine. <laughs> he planned to rip out Princess Bubblegum's heart to make it his bride. <laughs> Without my heart, I grew weak. Uh, but I made my way to the Candy Kingdom to look for him. In an alleyway, I begged him to return to me and leave the princess alone. But then he threw me in the dumpster and left me for dead. Stop, Ricardio. Gah. Come on, Jake. Gotta save the princess. Princess, princess. Bubblegum! <laughs> 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 Why don't you marry someone your own size? Like my foot! Huh? And my fist! <laughs> Stop! Stop it! That's my heart, you piece of ice king. <sighs> 
Should we let him take his heart back? He is villainous. I don't want to watch an old man die on Princess Bubblegum's carpet, man. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, Come to wait, wait, daddy. No. Yeah, there you go. You like that, huh? See you guys later. I feel wonderful! <laughs> and now that I've saved the princess, she'll marry me and live in my dungeon every day. No, she won't. Yeah, no, I won't. Yes, you will. Yeah! Oh! Well, maybe not today, or tomorrow, but another day, another day! Uh, uh. Thanks again for saving me. Again. Don't mention it. Now that Ricardio's gone, you don't have to be jealous of anyone anymore. I never get jealous. Kiss me, Finn. <coughs> I mean, kiss me, Finn. Am I doing it right, Jake? <laughs> no! Where's your heart, Finn? Well, it's right there inside you, while I'm sitting right here beside you! With your lucky stars to guide you from above. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd rather be out here, wrapped in your ear, than be in some awesome house, all by my souse. I'd rather be dancing with some babes. <laughs> Shut up, dude! Gross. This place looks gross. And abandoned. And abandoned. And abandoned. And abandoned. Ah! Ah! <gasps> Whoa, Whoa, bro. Wanna just live in here? Yes. So they cleaned the cave and built a house inside the cave. Huh. <sighs> so what do you think, man? We did pretty good for ourselves. Yeah, we did. So, uh, what should we do first in our new digs? Let's trash it and throw a party! <laughs> This is it. Feeling good. Feeling... I'm feeling like we did it. I'm feeling like <laughs> completely satisfied. Nothing else could go wrong. You know, Jake? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I know, too. Hey, Finn. <gasps> She's back! Wow, pretty awesome party you got here. What do you want, Marceline? Oh, I just want to show you something. This cave belongs to me! What? <sighs> Thanks for fixing the place up for me. You... You can't take her home twice! Yes, I can! Yeah, it's vampire fighting time! Finn! No! Vampires will kill you, remember? But she's taking her home again! We're home as long as we're together! Blah, blah, bleep, blah, bloop, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay, Marceline, I'm gonna let you keep this cave. But only because Jake is my home, and he's way better than all your homes combined! You know, you're right. I guess I'll take him, too. Uh, what? I'll bite him a little. Uh, Maybe turn him into a zombie. No! Let go of Jake! Make me. Uh, you okay, Bat? No one makes me let go of Jake! I'm not scared of you. <laughs> You're pathetic, little boy. Uh, uh, You're pathetic! Get ready for an uppercut, you dog! Make me. <laughs> I gotta help my buddy. Your blood is mine! Ouch! Oh! Actually hurt Finn. <laughs> Mwah. Why didn't you just kill me? Cause that was fun. <laughs> I haven't fought like that in years. Thanks, Finn. Finn, aren't you dead? Nah. Before she bit me, I used my powers to shrink all my guts and blood over my thumb. See? <clears throat> you two are pretty hardcore. I can appreciate that. So, so does that mean we can have our old house back? Yeah, keep it as a gift from me. <laughs> yeah! Huh? Did you guys get on the bed? I told you, you're not allowed. Oh, hey guys. Huh? Come here, friends. Hug me. Oh, yeah. 
Mahogany. Even though the Ice King is a wad, I'm pretty happy for him. Uh-huh. This wedding looks lame, man. Be prepared to be bored out of your mind. <laughs> Finn, Jake, you made it. Uh, come on up here. I'm almost finished tying up my bride. Weird. And your bride is into that? This is a traditional wedding ritual for good luck in the Ice Kingdom. You see, she'll be hoisted up and then lowered down. And when she touches my beard from above, she will be my queen. <laughs> well, cool, man. I'm glad y'all are happy being crazy together. Thank you. Excuse me as we finish preparing for the nuptials. Two, four, eight, 16, 20, uh, 32. Yes, 32, 64, 100 and... Huh? Her eyes are huge. I'm gonna go check them out. Stop scratching your ear, man. It's gross. It wasn't me. It was my foot, dude. Whoa, you've got ridiculously large eyes, princess. Are you allergic to something? No, Finn. I was just born like this. Why are you crying? I'm not crying, Finn. My tear sack is broken. Help me! What? I didn't say anything. The Ice King cursed me. You've got to set me free. I would rather die than marry the Ice King. <gasps> he tricked me! And I was happy for that son of a toot. Look at her ring. She fell in love with me the moment I slipped on her engagement ring. That's what cursed her. Don't worry, princess. I'll remove this ring and save your life. No! She's my love boat. <laughs> no, man. You cursed her. She hates you. Okay, that's your opinion. Wait a minute. Ah, <sighs> So... You knew she was cursed all along, which means you knew she wasn't trying to steal your demonic eye junk or whatever, and you knew you had total control of her. Yeah, yes, that's right. So then why did you make us go through all that junk about why marriage is worth stuff? Oh, I don't know. Uncomplicated and spontaneous. <laughs> that's probably why she wants to marry me. She wants to marry you because you brainwashed her. Silence! Whoa, Whoa wait! <laughs> Oh man! It's time for the lowering ceremony! <laughs> Hoist her up! <laughs> Commence the lowering! <gasps> yes, nothing can stop me now. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? You're the one that there's something wrong with. Huh? Gotcha. Thanks, man. <laughs> no problem. I think you dropped something. Catch that. Whoa! Jake! Uh, yeah, uh. What? What? Jake! Oh, hey. Hey. You got the ring off her finger? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Now she's not hypnotized. But we're still frozen. I got a plan. Oh, good. Now, let's try that again. Lower her. You lousy, butt-faced pig! I hate you! Here she comes. Yes, touch my beard, dearie. Yes, that's right. Almost there. Now! Oh, I'm married, right, Snowman? Here, it's official. It's official! You done married a dog, dude. What? What's that supposed to... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the... What am I laughing about? <sighs> and now everything's back to normal. Well, I wouldn't say everything. Come on, guys. Help me celebrate my own marriage. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for step four. What? I thought you said it was a three-step plan. Man? I'm not that good at counting. <laughs> Come on. Let's go kick your fear of the ocean where the sun don't shine. In the sea cucumber. Check it, dude. 100% awesome at two. Yeah, it's pretty math. You psychopath. You know, it looks way more math if you open up your eyes. Whoa. See, man? The ocean is beautiful. There's no reason to be afraid of things that are beautiful. Hey, this isn't that bad. I'm actually glad. Hey, look, a black abyss. Let's go check it out, sauerkraut. No, Jake, turn around, turn around. Ah! Ah! 
Saying turn around twice doesn't count as a rhyme, dude. <laughs> hey, you swore! <laughs> oh, my bread and butter! <laughs> no, dude, don't! Don't worry, dude. Everything's cool. This is the perfect segue into level five. Here, put this on. <laughs> Just make sure you don't pull the emergency tab. <laughs> no, dude, I said don't! <laughs> Jake? Jake! <laughs> Jake! <laughs> Pathetic. You can't even overcome your fear now that your friend is about to die. Your unheroic body will never let you save Jake. <laughs> You're right. What? Really? You think I'm right? Well, that's... that's great. If my body won't let me rescue my best friend, then there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> no, wait, no! no! Maybe we should celebrate on land. I'm proud of you, man. You did it. Thanks, dude. You've nothing to be proud of, boy. You will never get over your fear of the ocean. Whoa, dude. What's with your belly button? What the flip, man? I just swam to the bottom. No, you didn't, cheater. You just sank to the bottom. You will never be a great hero. He's right. I'll never be a hero. Finn, you are wrong. The mark of a great hero is his flaw. You know nothing, wise men. Silence, fear feaster. We know a lot. Wait, why did you wait so long to tell me? Because the limo driver's flaw is being late. Sorry. Farewell, Finn. You truly are the greatest hero of Ooh. It's time for you to go away, Fear Feaster! What? Am I supposed to live in your tummy for the rest of my life? Everybody has a flaw, and it looks like yours is smelling like my nasty guts. Wonderful. Okay. That, that's, yeah, that's funny. They look kind of... Rashy. Hey, Finn! Uh, hey, man. Uh, as you can see, the petting got sort of out of hand. Oh, uh, stop that! We are done with that! We're going back to rough housing. No, wait, fellas! Th the mountain doesn't like rough housing. Well, we don't like not rough housing. You see the problem here? Well, what if... What if we rotate the entire mountain 180 degrees around, so the mountain's facing the other direction? That way, you guys can keep roughhousing, and the mountain doesn't have to watch it. Sounds fine with me! What do you say, mountain? That's okay. Only if you guys promise to stay healthy and not roughhouse after you rotate me. That mountain can talk? Just promise him anything. He's out of his gourd. Uh, yeah, we'll stay healthy. Oh, thank goodness. All right, kids, spin me the math around. Now I just need to set up some sort of pulley system. No! Over here! Don't turn around. If you do, they'll miss looking at his beautiful back. It's gorgeous. Huh? What? Really? What? Uh, but... Uh, okay, um... Maybe what we can do Excuse is... Excuse me? Huh? We need your help. There's no music playing and we desperately want to dance. Oh, uh, hold on just a second, you guys. I'll, uh, I'll help you out in one minute, okay? Hey! Pipe down over there! I want some peace and quiet! Uh, let me just, uh... I, I need to be pollinated. Huh? Pollinated all over to make my babies! Everybody, please, one problem at a time. <laughs> My butt's itchy, but I can't scratch it. This water's too cold. Mommy, please get the plug away from our mommy. Okay, 
I stole a triangle. They swipe my plum. We want a rough house! We want a rough house! I'm naked! <laughs> What's happening? Ah! Everybody wants different things, and some of them want stuff that's exactly the thing the others don't want. Whoa, dude, hold on. So this guy wants this, and that guy wants that. But man, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want, baby? Why are you crying? Margaret, this baby won't tell me what's wrong with it, and it's stuck to a leaf, and it stinks. Give it here, Joshua. This baby just needs some love and kisses to be happy. Mwah. Mwah. There, see? Now it's happy. You just kissed a boom boom baby. So don't expect any more sugar from me, sweetheart, until we wash your dirty, dirty face. <laughs> Jake, what I want is to help anyone in need, so everyone is happy. <laughs> wow, that's pretty corny, man. But let's do it, dude! Woohoo! Ready over there, Mushroom Gang? Ready, Ben? Ready, Dragon? Yes, sir! Ready, Mountain Man? <coughs> I'm ready. Go! <laughs> Can't hear a thing! Yeah, yeah. Is anyone roughhousing? No! Radical. And I can still see this gorgeous back! Thank you, Finn. You really helped everybody. Stop! I've got a problem. Well, what's the matter? This dolphin fell in love with me. That's the opposite of a problem. Adventure time! It produces a pungent gas, obnoxygen. To Y wolves, it is a deadly poison. <coughs> but since you've removed the jerk, Donnie, <coughs> we will devour the houses, and our population will rapidly swell until we are, in turn, devoured by the cosmic owl. <coughs> Such is the course of nature. But it'll be a pretty sweet ride up until that point. Tonight, we feast on the blood of the innocents. <coughs> <coughs> You have to go right now and stop the Weibles from... Ah, Master Finn has returned. What's it going? Thanks to you, I shall never be jerky again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, this is all wrong. We need jerk Donny to make the obnoxygen and... Steady and... on, Finn. Perhaps you are dehydrated. It's as Jake taught me. Eight ounces, eight glasses, eight days a week. I'll fetch you some tap water. Are you wearing jeans now? Surely. Gotta get pants. Go get your pants. Button fly. I wrote that one myself. Pardon me. But, 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 yeah, Donnie. You're looking good in those jeans. What did you do? Miraculous, isn't it? I just kept teaching him my musical rules. And now he's perfect. No, we messed up, Jake. The house people are doomed if Donnie doesn't go back to being town jerk. <clears throat> I've no intention of being a jerk again. Hm. But the houses will be wiped out if you don't. It sounds tragic, but I'm turning over a new leaf. Donnie, you gotta go. Finn, no means no. I'm sure you'll respect my wishes. No, stop, no. <laughs> now, go be a jerk to those Y wolves. No. <laughs> I'll use my musical messages to stop them. Let's see, I've got one on the ethics of laundry, crosswalkery. Ooh, here's a good one. Man, the town is getting creamed. By not being a jerk, you're being a real jerk, Donnie. Comb your hair right, it's a good time. Sticky, sticky pomade, short back and sides. Why isn't anyone paying attention to my words? He sure is sensitive about his songs. <gasps> it's because they think your songs are dumb. What? What are you saying? If we don't encourage his talent, he might revert back to jerk do Oh, oh! Hey, Donnie! Everyone says your songs are super balls! They all think you're a real jerk! But, but I've changed! Why would they say that? Empathy, empathy, put your mind inside! <laughs> you're so pathetic! 
So comical! <laughs> Think I'm a jerk, do they? I'm feeling obnoxious. <laughs> you wolves are cool. Just kidding. <laughs> Obnoxious cloud. Egress. <laughs> the town is saved. Get off of me, nerds! You did it, Donnie. You're a full-blown jerk again. What? You're the jerk. Housies, ready to hear my new song? It's about how Finn will betray you just to save lives. I'm sorry, Donnie. I'll never forgive you, Finn! Come on, we can go stare wistfully at the lake. I'd... I'd like that very much. Hey, I love being a jerk! Thanks, Finn. Finn? Finn, you loser! I'll never forget you. Great! Now I gotta climb down? Oh, the king of thieves! Uh, sorry to trespass. I just... Uh, hello? The chest! It's in his chest! Thanks. You see, if you have too much earwax, you won't be able to hear anymore. I got it, guys. The chest. Give me that, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, kid. <laughs> what? Is your basket under all that gold? Of course it's not. I set you up to steal this chest of gold. I couldn't get past the barrier because I'm a thief. But you're just a cute little girl. I'm a thief! Well, if this isn't yours, I'm gonna return it right now! Huh? Why can't I...? You stole something in the city. Now you're a thief! No! No! What have I done? What have I become? You've become a thief, stupid. <laughs> My hands, they're all dirty covered in the dust of a criminal act. I'm a thief. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, what did I tell you, boy? This city will get you no matter how pure you think you are. <laughs> I was right. Hey, that's enough from you, hag. Hey, hey! Finn? Don't touch me. I'm a pure man. Unfit to be a hero. Unfit to be your friend. Come on, Finn, keep it together. No, Jake. This is a one-way path down a jacked-up road, and I gotta walk it alone. I'm not gonna leave you alone in the city. You're my buddy. Besides, I stole these boots. These super babe-style boots. So I'm just as dirty as you are, Finn. We gotta walk this filthy path together. Then we shall embrace the darkness of this wicked city and use the methods of the criminal to seek vengeance on Penny. Cowabunga! Cowabunga indeed. you stole, and I'm here to enact my revenge upon you. Hi, Penny. Finn, please don't punch my lights out. I'm just a poor homeless baby girl. I trusted you, Penny. You made me steal, and you took my purity. You ruined me! You may have soiled my purity, but I think you can still come out clean. Come on, Jake! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Nice work, dude. She's purified. I feel clean. Like all the filth of the city and wrongdoings are gone. Thank you, F&J. I haven't felt like this since I was young. You're welcome. Whoa, dude. <laughs> the soap got on us, too. We're clean. Yes. yes. This good deed we did has purified us once again. Finn, thank you for the second chance to live a pure life.
And you know what that means, Penny. No more stealing. Never again. Well, I think it's time for us to get the math out of here. I'm going to miss you, Finn. I'll miss you too. Goodbye. Whoa, dude. Why are you naked? Ah! Penny! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> what is this game you are playing at now, Finn? Uh, it's Blockado! <laughs> the game of barricades! Come on! Let's block all the entrances and windows! Oh, yeah! Not a permanent solution. Huh? Think, Finn, how can you keep everyone from finding out? I know about what, Finn? Manfred, the talking pinata. Your convenient appearance gives me a great idea. Everybody, grab a stick. New game. We're gonna smash some pinatas. What? Except for you, Manfred. Oh, thank goodness. Now, everybody don these blindfolds. Thanks, Daffy Girl. Yeah. All right, everybody, get together. I'm hanging the pinatas. They're all around you. Smash the pinatas! Yeah! Yeah! You guys are on fire! Oh, I just want to see. We did it! My improbable plan worked. Woo! Seven minutes up yet? Whoa! What the nuts happened here? Oh, we killed all the zombies that Princess Bubblegum and I raised from the dead. Really? Huh? Jake? What's going on? What? Huh? Oh, Finn! Did you break your royal promise? Yeah, but, I mean, all the zombies are dead. The candy people won't freak out. What's the big deal? This is really, really bad, Finn. You can't break royal promises. Never, ever, never, no matter what, forever! The guardians of the royal promise are coming for us. Whoa! Finn the human, you have broken a royal promise for which the penalty is trial by fire. That's stupid. Wait! He's my friend! Isn't there another option? Yes, because you care for the promise breaker, we will give him a less hot trial. You must now answer math. Questions. Mathematical. Finn, you're terrible at math. Ah. Oh. Now, solve this. Uh. Oh, wait, wait. I thought of a better one. Yes, two plus two. Solve it or die. Uh, four, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, Princess? You defeated the broken royal promise! The Gumball Guardians are resetting! Whoa! a cow! That was tops! Who's not good at math? I was all four! Four, 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 four. <gasps> That's it! The answer was so simple, I was too smart to see it! You're welcome. Four is the last figure I need to perfect my decorpsinator serum. Golly! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! This is messed up, but sweet. Isn't that all? Uncle Chewy. Grandma! Oh, my dead relatives. Starchy! Morning. Man, mm -hmm. you broke a royal promise? You're nuts. All you had to say was that it was a royal secret. Mm -hmm. I know what's up. I hope you grasp the full consequences of breaking promises. Heck yeah! If I break a royal promise, I get to fight zombies, throw slumber parties, awake gumbo guardians, and, and... All right, all right. And reverse death itself! Oh, you are adorable. But keep your promises, okay? I will, Princess. <laughs> Starchy, you're not a zombie. I can't help it. Flesh is delicious. You're delicious. <laughs> Don't squeeze me apart. What are you thinking, Finn? I've almost devised a plan. I'm gonna let him drop while I finalize the details in my mind. Sweet. <laughs> You're right. Good idea, Finn. Good idea indeed. I hope they think I'm fun. 
All right, I've got a plan for how to get out of here. First, everyone needs to be dancing and laughing and saying fun things like whoopee. Okay, when the Ice King comes back, everyone play it up like he wanted to come inside the jail and party with us. And then when he steps inside, wham, I'm going to beat the tar out of him with these while you all take care of Jake. Everyone on board with this? Uh -huh. Sweet, nice plan, dude. I think if everyone's saying whoopee, the plan won't work because they'll know we're faking it. Uh, good point, LSP. I'm going to say something fun like, Oh, yeah, I'm having a fun time. Oh, my gosh. Probably the best time I've ever had in my entire life. Make way for the fun tray. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, yeah. oh, probably the best time I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> so the good. Most fun in the so world. good. What is this? We're having fun. Whoopee! <laughs> because I left the room? Because they like it here. Because they like you. Because you're a really fun guy. I don't get this. Stop buying it. Dance harder. Come on, Aunt Heron. Harder. Want to dance with us, Ice King? Come on. <laughs> really? You want to dance with me? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're here. We're here. Wow. OK. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Wait. No. Don't leave. I'll kill you all. Why are you doing this? Everyone was finally warming up to me. No, that is not the case. You are nuts, man. And I don't know how to help you. Probably because I'm just a simple dude. But maybe you should talk to someone with more life experience, like Jake. Whoa, 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 Finn, what are you doing? Don't dump the Ice King on me. But you've got to get it in your head, man. Putting princesses in jail is wrong. Ah, Finn, you just ruined my chances with five or six potential wives. For that, you will. Oh, oh. Oh, my beard. Uh, why do people not like me? Is it because I'm a magic user? Or is my beard too shaggy? <sighs> I try so hard to be a good husband for girls. What's wrong with me? Oh, you're a sociopath. Who are you? <laughs> I know. You're probably a, a big nerd. <laughs> hey, baby, why don't you try being cool like me? Whee! Whose face does this so ticklish? <laughs> what happened? Princesses? Oh. Yeah! Hey, Thank you for saving us, Finn. You're welcome, Slime Princess. And remember when you said you'd vow to marry us to the thing of our choosing? Yes? Well, I'd like to marry you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, well, about that. Jake, help me. Oh, uh, Slime Princess, you shouldn't marry Finn. He pees his pants constantly, all the time. <laughs> Oh, gross. Put me down. Put me down! <laughs> I'm sorry, Jake. <laughs> okay, I'll take that pledge. Are you sure? Perhaps you are not sufficiently familiar with... I'm ready. Well, there may be ramifications that you cannot... Just let me take that pledge, man. My word, I've never met someone so irresponsibly responsible. Very well, then. You must grasp my hand. That's it? Easy. Whoa! Huh? <gasps> My big star! Yes! Wahoo! Yeah! Wait, where am I? Direct your attention to the scale model orb. Huh? Is that an asteroid heading for this very temple? Yes, it's been heading for this temple for 847 years. Only the magic of the ultimate wizards keeps it from getting any closer. Quickly, add your power to that of the orb. Oh, okay. Whoa! I got it! Now what? Now I release the Elder Jeremy from his pledge. Razamafu! It's about time. And you take his place for the rest of your natural life. Awesome! Wait, what? This is what you signed up for when you took the Pledge of Ultimate Responsibility. This is what all the wizard training was about? You tricked me! Young wizard, the asteroid approaches. Oh, yeah, sorry. I tricked you, of course, but would anyone ever volunteer to do this? I'm out. Aw, oh, man, this sucks. Grr. Old people, there's got to be a better way. Nope. This is how the Ancient Ones wanted it. Yeah? 
I got a younger idea. You fool! Your new fangled thinking will get us all killed! Youth culture forever! Whoa. Hey! Have you gone crazy? Get back in the bouncy harness! Sleep! You are the... Ultimate wizardry? Activate! Uh, hmm. Maybe my footing's off? There you go! I cast Dragon Eyes! Tiger Claw! Vorpal Hand! Blazing Feet! Beauteous Wings! And finally, every other power I didn't mention by name! With all my magics combined, I'm powerful enough to move the entire village out of the asteroid's path! Some help! Jake! Awaken! Reflect! Hey, I'm alive! What's that up there? <gasps> oh no! Ah, my stupid young idea will be responsible for hundreds of deaths! It sure will! Huh? Old wizards! You dished your responsibilities to help me! What? No! We left so we wouldn't be killed by that asteroid! Oh, okay. Um, since you're here already, can you lend me a hand? <laughs> Nice job! Thanks to us, the village is saved. And we reclaimed a few of your twilight years. Don't forget to thank me, for this was my plan for all of these 847 years. No way! Your plan was to dupe a succession of rubes into keeping the asteroid at bay. Perhaps you're right. No more giving out free powers. I hereby renounce all magic. <laughs> my life is over! Chill, man. You don't have to quit your job. I don't. Nah, just don't take credit for ideas that aren't yours. Oh, okay. Good idea. Glad I thought of it. Hey, naked kid. You want some free demon heart? Full oh, circle! Yeah. Adventuring is too much hard work for a bro without his powers. But you are an adventurer. Nah, from now on, I'm just your regular old dog. Ironic, given my current man-baby body. <gasps> Behold, the beautiful mermaid of the river. <laughs> I'll scare her off, Finn. How do we beat power like that? Finn, I've got an idea. What is it, buddy? Rub my belly. Yeah, I'm one of those kind of dogs. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Finn? <laughs> Finn! Come on, Finn! You gotta save yourself! I'm just a dog! Oh, man, oh, geez. Okay, then I'm back on the team! Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll save you! Jake? Don't worry! Hey, Finn, can you help me to get up there? Oh! If only I had my powers back. The only way I'll give back your powers is if I know, I know. I have to apologize to that witch. Oh, you're doing so well. And I hate you so much. Hey, witch, I need my powers back. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I ate your donut. Rasma <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, so do I get my powers back? Mm, apology denied. What? Why? Because you took too long. Now you have to apologize while doing a variety of humiliating things. No way, Jose. Come on, dude. It's the only way to save Finn. Who is that? He's my subconscious. Then he has to do it, too. Huh? I, Jake the dog, while slow dancing with my subconscious with flowers in my underwear, do humbly apologize. Wait, wait, start over. You're recording this? It's for my newsletter. No way, I have my dignity. Then guess what, cool guy? You can forget about getting your powers back. Ever! Oh no, dude, what do we do now? <coughs> oh, I'm dying, Jake. What? Mm, he says he's dying. Let that be a lesson to all you cupcakes. <sighs> Why are you dying, bro? Because... I'm the subconscious of your old magical self. <coughs> Goodbye, Jake. No, no! 
<laughs> so I've finally broken you. Yeah! <laughs> if only I were a humbler guy, my subconscious would be alive and my best bud wouldn't be trapped in a mermaid's nest. Yes! <laughs> gloat! 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 <laughs> All right, I think you've learned your lesson. I forgive you. My powers! How can I ever thank... Ha! Gotcha, Kane. <laughs> but didn't you learn your lesson? Nope. <laughs> hungry, hungry. <laughs> Remember to save the brain for dessert. Honey, I'm back. How about a big kiss? You guys are so cute. I could just maul you to death. Jake, I never should have doubted you. Well, I'm glad you learned your lesson. That in a crunch, there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Ah, so is that how you got your powers back? You apologized to the witch? Um, no way. I, um, I must have found the right mud puddle. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Why are you sucking up to us? My best friend needs an antidote for lumpiness. Yeah, lumpiness sucks. Hey, Monty, time's up, Spear Hog. It's my turn. So the antidote is in that orb you were sitting on. This orb is the antidote, bruh. Can my friend borrow it? Yeah, sure, as long as you give it right back. Hammer cow. Thanks, fellas. What's taking so long? Do those smooth heads give you the orb already or what? Wait! Is this another friend of yours? What do you care? Just give him the antidote already and stop being such a poser. Sorry, kid. We changed our minds. Why did you have to say all those rude things to them? What? I was helping you. Thanks a lot. They're right about to hand over the antidote. You're welcome a lot. You insulted them, and they got mad, and now Jake's gonna be lumpy forever! This is all your fault! Wow, now I know how you really feel. I was just trying to help, but whatever. No, no, not whatever. I know I mess things up sometimes, but I'm really trying, and you're supposed to be my friend. Not like the fake ones I have here. So do what you want. I'm going to prom coming. Are you coming or not, Lumpy Jake? No, because no matter how messed up and lumpy I get, this guy never turns his back on me. Oh, oh yeah, right behind y'all. Just gotta turn my back on this guy. Jake, it's almost sunset. Jake didn't save him. I... I'll kill you, Lumpy Space! Jab on that. Huh? I thought you guys left. We were drawn back by your plaintive wail. We dig your direction, Less Fury. Um, thanks. Respect. Here. Take it. Win your girl back. Yeah, there's no girl. But there is still time to save Jake. Do you guys know where prom coming is? Prom coming takes place way down on that land lump. Awesome. Do any of y'all have wheels? Nah, we were all ditched here just like you. Well, you think I could make it to that land lump if I jumped off this cliff? You kidding? A smoothie like you a plummet right into the eternal void. What if I was lumpy? Could I float over? No, no, it's too dangerous. Uh, I'd say there's a 50-50 chance of you making it. That's good enough for me. Now bite me! Are you crazy? Ah! 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 Oh! <laughs> yes, I can feel the multiple bites accelerating the lumpification process. I'm starting to float! Don't jump, guy! I have to, for my buddy. Rah! Wow, he's insane. Oh, I made it, and there he is! Yeah, prom coming. Yeah, cool. Jake, I'm mostly lumpy now, and I totally think you should sit on this spear. No. Sit on it! Hey. No. Please, Jake, you're my best friend. Just sit on the spear. Sha, I remember you. You're just a smoothie wannabe lumpy poser. Sit on it before I turn completely lumpy. No. Oh, no. I can feel the lumpiness about to consume me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Being lumpy is the best. Hey, stop talking to yourself, dumb guy. Take your ball and get out of here. Fine. I don't want you to have it anyway. So I can't have it now, eh? That's right. It's mine. Give me that ball. No, you can't have it. Give it to me. No. I want it. Give it to me. You're that bad? Go get it, then. Oh, I'm not lumpy anymore. Oh, no. Finn, buddy, you gotta sit on this. No! You can't make me smudge. Finn. Hey, Finn. Hey, buddy. Finn. Huh? Hey, dude. We made it. Man, there's something cold under my butt. Oh, <laughs> the antidote. 
Just in time, too. LSP, I'm sorry I blew up at you before. I didn't mean it. I was just really stressed out. You know, it's fine. You and Jack can make it up to me by dancing this last dance with me. Sounds good to me. What do you say, Jake? That sounds totally lame. <gasps> I'm just kidding. Let's dance. What about your eye patch collection? Oh man, they're in mint condition. Jake! All right, coming. Mama, 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 mama. One more patch. There, finished. Ugh, you look terrible. Finn, I know you don't want to hear this, but I think we should cut our losses and bring this fella back to where we found him. We can't just abandon him. Look at him, Jake. He needs us now more than ever. We just need to take better care of you from now on, right, little guy? Chandler! Oh, what? Finn? What? Okay. Ah! Our pen exploded. Ah! Maybe we can scrape him up and... Yeah. Oh, holy moly! Don't worry, Jiggler. We'll fix you. <laughs> Let's gather him up, Jake. He's all over the place. Even between the floorboards. And the cupboards. And the galoshes. No wonder. Where's this Heine? Found it. Come here, you. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Let's put him back together. Okay. Squeeze real hard. He's slipping. Got him. Well, at least he's all in one piece. Sheesh, you think he's dead? No way! I won't let you die, guy. Not this time. Man, stop it, man. What are you doing? I'm kissing him. What do you think? It's all I can think to do. Just put him down. with his dying breath. I think he's trying to tell us something. Finn, this looks like he could be his mom. We took this child away from its mama, Jake. We're kidnappers and murderers. I just wanted to have fun and jiggle. Look, chill out, okay? We can fix this. Check it out. His mom looks like she's mm. out by Stanley's house, mm. where we found the jiggler. If we get him back to her, she'll be able to fix him up. Then there's no time to spare. Hold on a little longer, buddy. Did you hear that? Whistling! Herpy, Zekular, it's the mama! <laughs> Look, the little guy wants to go home. Well, this is it, buddy. Be well. Hey! Stop that! Understand. That crazy mama almost killed him. He feels cold. What are we supposed to do now, man? We can't bring him home or he'll... or he'll... <laughs> Dang it! Why doesn't she love him? I love him. You love him. It's not fair. Finn, ah! wait! Ah! Mama's supposed to love baby. She's supposed to love baby. Huh? <laughs> oh, man! It's yours, idiot! <laughs> Figured it out, dude. It's the juice. The jiggler needs to smell like it's mama's juice. That's how wild animals know what's going on. And this guy right here is all drained out. We gotta toss it in the soup, brother. All right, okay. I loved you, baby. I hope you know that. Word to your mother! Never kidnap again. Give it back! Give me back my friend! But I killed him already! Fine. I'll give you your dollar. Here's your dollar! <laughs> Jake! You're okay. Stomachs are weird. <laughs> You just flew us all the way to the top. Wait a minute. I can smell the book right through this door. <laughs> You're under arrest.
Lance for stealing my dollar! <laughs> Just a minute, Jake. <laughs> you know what that was? That was righteous. Thanks, Jake. Now sniff out that book for me. You got it. <laughs> Whoa! Cool. Congratulations, Finn the Human. You must be truly righteous to have made it this far. Thank you. Now, enter my brain world, and I will show you some aspect of yourself that you're not entirely aware of. Where am I? For your final trial, slay the beast! Why? Is it an evil beast? Yes, it's completely evil. Will you slay it? Shoot, yeah. I'll slay anything that's evil. That's my deal. <laughs> Yes, you've done well, hero. Thank you. Now, as one last, last trial, slay this ant. Is it evil? No, but it's not good either. It's uh, neutral. Will you slay it? No! If you want the heroes and Kyridian, then slay this unaligned ant. Never. Never, never! Uh -oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Finn the Human. Now you have truly reached the end. Oh no, Mr. Keeper, I I'm sorry. What? Why are you wearing that little devil costume? These are my pajamas. I was getting ready for bed. Finn, Jake, you made it. Are you another trial? Trial? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Manish Man, the Minotaur. <gasps> the manly Minotaur from Princess Bubblegum's story. <laughs> so, can I check out the Enchiridion? Can I, can I, can I? Yeah, come on, let's go check it out. Woohoo! We've been watching you guys on our magical viewing globe. Take a seat, guys, have some juice. There's grape and apple, and the gatekeeper made spaghetti. And, all right, Finn, are you ready for this? The Enchiridion! You deserve it, Finn. Really? Yeah, Finn. You're the goodest of heart and most righteous hero I've seen here. Tenderness, ingenuity, bravery, nard kicking ability. And when you took that giant ogre's dollar, <laughs> oh man, the keeper nearly fainted. <laughs> Me, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, crack open that book and read something for fun's sake, all right? Oh, yeah. Whoa. How to kiss princesses? <laughs> Whoa, what'd you just read? Yeah, what does it say, Finn? Manish Man won't tell me. Hey, don't tell her, Finn. It doesn't say anything, Princess. Manish Man! Oh, uh, yeah! 